Welcome back to our Monster Ranch Nuzlocke. Currently, nothing in the schedule for Inventationals. So, we continue to work on stats. Uh, we could do... Yeah, right now everything is at, like, set plateaus. <clears throat> so probably just work skill. I think currently the biggest thing holding us back, the thing we struggled the most with, is high-speed monsters and actually getting a hit in. March. We're done with expeditions. So we really are just... Okay, this must be an invitation. Master's Cup. Okay. Uh, let's finish out... Let's get to a, a rest week and then figure out the schedule here. Okay, there's the tire. So, uh, we'll do the rest. Just so I don't forget that mess of lifespan. Okay, so Master's Cup is the third week of May. So if we do small rests, or small work jobs, we've been sleeping week two currently. So that actually works out perfectly fine? Wait, no, week, week three. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, we're good. So we'll get the level here on skill for sure. Oh yeah. Wait, what is she saying? I think she, she must have just said it's next month, right? Because it is next month. Let's get level up. Can we... Do we know which ones we've beaten? Do I need to track this myself, actually? I mean, this is the... We haven't beaten one yet, so... Training record... Presumably... Yeah, I better... If we beat it, we better remember. So this is Masters. Let's just write that down right now. Okay. Masters, comma, May. So one last job, then rest. Probably just keep doing skill, honestly. Alright, let's go fuck it up. Alright. So, Ketsu... Don't know if we've seen if, if the monsters are new or some of them repeat. Okay, no, we've never seen a Gali mono, I don't think. Eh, some of it, something about it looks familiar. Like the padding on the side is triggering a memory somewhere. Okay, uh, high skill, that's it. Nothing else too crazy. Yep. That'll do it. Hmm. 
Yeah, because we've fought the big blue before, so there must be repeats. Unless we've done this one before. Yeah, so high skill again. Worst int. We stick with long range attacks, we're in a pretty good spot. Alright. <laughs> 672 damage on cannon, Jesus. That's kind of how Endgame Monster Rancher ends up being. Ooh, what the hell is that? Is that like a magic? Like a magic naga or something? Or just a regular magic? No, that's a magic naga for sure. Okay. Well, if anything's going to give us trouble, it's probably going to be this. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty high stats. Slightly worse on power. Not that we... Yeah, with his move pool, there's not much we can really do about that. Yeah, don't like him getting the first hit in. Well, already out of stuff. Wow, the foolery, though. Damn. Nice dodge. Actually huge. Huge dodge. Getting a little getting a little scary here. I really need a good hit. Uh we need to hit him. I'm on fury mode. Fuck. Bruh. Tired, I guess, because he got knocked out? That's all I can think. Because usually they'd have, like, um... One day left. Monsters Cup, third week of August. So currently we'd be out of sync. So small, small, small rest would not work. So big, small rest. Big, small rest. Small, small, small rest. Yeah, that'll work. Oops. That magic was a menace. Fancy looking uh, barn and stuff now. I wonder if this is like the last tier or something. Nope.
Kind of weird that you have to commit to the adventure before you know if your monster's tired or not. Like, it could be a little awkward on a reload. I guess maybe you'd never actually re be reloading straight into the, uh, the adventure. Okay, so we should be on proper schedule now, right? 3, 4, 1... Tournament. 3, 4, 1, rest on 2, tournament on 3. Yep. So, 924... 473. <clears throat> All right, going to forty nine. All right, monsters in August. Can we please beat one of these? We're 0 for 2, which is really fucking rough. And it's like, we kick the ass of everything except for just whatever the fucking ace of the tournament is, basically. Like, we one-shot the first monster of the tournament, right? And it's just the one in the back that's like the boss, basically. It looks like that is probably a deliberate structuring of these, huh? Where like the two pre- oh, I skipped through it too fast. The two pre- or starting monsters are pretty much whatever. Oh, 76%, huh? That's pretty good. Let's go for a cannon. Bye! Ultimately, the tournament is effectively a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yeah, we gotta fight a fucking dragon. Yeah, he fucking withdrew! Bruh! Alright, let's see what this fucking dragon's gonna be like. I assume these are all gonna be pretty flat stat spreads. With, like, maybe one stat that's high. I don't think we've fought a dragon yet. I don't think we've seen a dragon yet. Yeah, both damaging stats in the 600. Speed's not great, though. Uh, maybe try for a cannon here. That's not good. Oh god. Fucking, he keeps, he's trying to, like, fucking keep me in one spot! God damn it! Fuck off! These tournaments are bullshit! I got fucking two shot! Are you joking? That one felt like especially bullshit, because we got that one good fucking hit, we just couldn't get another attack off. Every time I tried to get close, he fucking moved away. Disc cut, week three. Can we go back in the battle schedule? Do I actually need to write down every one, or can I just look? No, they do disappear. Well, that sucks. We'll remember the month, I guess. That always works. Um, sorry, what what week was this one? Hold on. Three, they said? Week three. So this is... One, two, rest. One, four, one, rest. Three, four, one, rest. Yeah, okay. That that that's pattern again. That's probably the pattern it's gonna keep, right? So, uh we can lower skill first.
I mean, these fights are very winnable. We're just kind of getting unlucky. That's not like we're getting super unlucky. Like, you know, losing coin flips essentially is what it feels like to me. Which is gets frustrating, right? Um, mailman this. Four ninety six nine thirty five hundred. No, fuck off, Karn. Go away. Uh, is it next month? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay. So we got skill up. We could go for another level on it. I might do that. I think we can get that before them. Yeah, actually, I think we can get it with, uh, with a day to spare. Nope. Not quite. All right, let's try this shit again. So Katsu Veils. Shuckle wants to buckle. <clears throat> I I'm assuming the preamble monsters are always gonna be easy kills for us at this point. High defense, nothing else. Yeah, this should be pretty trivial. Oh god, yeah. Oops. Wanted to cannon him. Wow, that doesn't kill. I, mean, I think we're fine. I don't think he can kill us even with fury. There we go. All right, what nightmare are we in for now? That must be an ape. Yep, for sure that's an ape. I don't know if I've ever seen an ape in this game. Like, ever. Like a picture, even. I've seen him in other ones. Oh, he's just laying on his back. Okay, and then he gets up. Okay, I mean, he looks like an ape from, uh... I don't know, were they in Monster Rancher 2? They've definitely been in some other games. High skill, high life. Uh, low damaging stats. Interesting spread. This one should be easier than most. Good opening shot. Okay. Let's keep it close. He's got some big fucking banana attack I don't really want to deal with. Alright. Just stab his ass. Stall for time. All right, that'll do it. Okay. That was one that had a bad stat spread, though. 
If all we need to do is get a couple good hits and stall for time, we're in a good spot. All right, we beat. This is disc, right? Fame 100, yeah. All right, that's progress. Uh, yeah, you get you can get praised for that. It's another breeder rank, another revival. Rank seven. Yeah, so he's easy, or he still feels well here. So it's got to be that's like the de deciding thing. If you get knocked out, you're you're more tired. He's at almost ten years old. That's insane. Um, so this was November. All right, I'm gonna make a hard save um, just because of like lifespan. I'm still I still have no idea when he's gonna fucking die. Oh. I think that's signifying that we beat one of the big four right there, because that wasn't there before. Do we see that anywhere else? Yes. No, I. We, it's hard to tell which one it is, but uh, it is there. So back to skill raising, I think. So this is the next one. All star in February. Okay. So if we do three small trainings, takes us to here. Three small trainings takes us to here. All star is the first week. So we need to do a one set of two. Yeah, so let's do one mine, get a little, the tiniest bit more survival. Then just skill for the rest of it. Never thought the monster that would be like the fucking all-star of the run it would be a worm that morphed into a gel i am officially on like team worm man the worm did good very very happy with my boy blank here i never i never thought we'd make this much progress on just two monsters fuck off karn fuck off fuck off Like, I legitimately thought this, this rule set might be a struggle. Just based off, like, my test dino and our dino, like, constantly running away and fucking shit up. Like, has this guy ever run away? Zero run away. Amazing. Sickness. I didn't even know sickness was a thing in this. Uh, oh, are we resting this month? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we are. He's hopping. This week, I mean. Okay, All-Star Cup. How are we looking? 526 on skill. February All-Star Cup. Let's do it. So this is the Hanger Tournament. So it's Master, Monster, Disc, and All-Star. So the one with the disc is obviously Disc, right? That one's easy to remember. I wonder what the Master symbol is supposed to be. Obviously All-Star could be a star. It'd be pretty, pretty obvious. High skill, low speed. Just click attacks and make it die.
Yep. <laughs> Just spray bug poison on the fairy, watch it curl up and die. Excellent. All right, let's check out Gareb's bullshit. I don't remember... So this is the one we haven't fought yet in this episode. I think he was evasive or something obnoxious. Is that what it was? High speed, high skill. Okay, yeah, oh, this is the one we can beat like through attrition. We just need to get hits. Well, immediately go for an insecticide. Awesome opening, holy shit. Hey, that's two for two suddenly. All right, that's just what we need to see. <laughs> Click a button, make it die. I feel like the other two monsters are much more difficult, though. I think we beat the two easy ones. I'm not just saying that because we won. I legitimately think based on the stat spreads. Like, the Henger fight is basically, can you win, like, the one in four to get a hit off, right? One more step to go? It's two more steps to go. Oh, maybe there's not a rank, because when you beat the fourth tournament, you just win the game, right? That makes sense. So that was Feb. So we just have May and the summer one, whatever that one is. It is going through the most important stage of its life. Is he just reaching Prime? Are you joking? Okay, I gotta look this up. He's he's going through the most important stage of his life. What stage is this? Uh, Holly's warnings. Okay. Holly will randomly give one of the below messages for each warning. Prime, 180 weeks remaining. It's going through the most important stage now. Take care of it. We have 180 weeks remaining of life. Are you... How... What the fuck? So 180 is 45 months. We have almost four years left. Like, when you factor in the meat bonuses, we have, like, four years left. He's gonna live to be 14! That's insane! There's absolutely no pressure to rush these tournaments. We just raise stats for another year or two, right? We don't even... We don't even do these tournaments. There's no reason to do try these this year. Or even next year, honestly. We just risk injury and losing time. We're better off just pushing stats. Uh, did I need to rest this... ...day? No, it doesn't look like he's huffing. Uh, the tournament was the first. Yes, yeah, so the tournament, this, we're fully rested, okay. So, um, we're just gonna tunnel skill up to, like, a billion. So I hope you are looking forward to the rest of this episode being me click skill three times and then rest once, and that's all that happens for the rest of forever. I legitimately assumed we had missed the Prime warning, and we were waiting for the Retirement warning. I'm gonna grow up to be a breeder like you, what should I study? Wow. Ah uh, shit, was he well? I think he was well. I mean, granted, we got him both of the lifespan extenders, and like, the lifespan extension from Cocooning a Worm. But 14 years still feels fucking insane. I mean, I, I was operating under the basic assumption that, like, with those bonuses to lifespan, we were talking something in the ballpark of, like, 10 to 12. 
I was expecting 10 back when we were like 8 years old. 14 is insane. Absolutely wild. We just rested, right? I'm getting distracted again by other stuff. I just can't get over this dude's lifespan. He he's the exact monster. Like I didn't plan this. I didn't plan on the expedition monster getting all the lifespan bonuses and like being able to take out the big four because of it. Completely unplanned. Legitimately, like, I started building the worm for like adventures without knowing what it would molt into. Like, crazy. I can't believe how well this worked out. Especially after our first monster just fucking died. When that happened, I was like, oh god, we're gonna be doing 100 episodes of this shit because I fucked up and got our first monster killed. <laughs> nope. What would win? The entirety of Monster Rancher 1 or One Wormy Boy? Yeah, so I think we'll wait till next year comes around. Um, get back around to May next year. See where we're at then. Thinking like 700 skill, then maybe honestly push some defense. At some point, like we're going to get more benefit from boosting survivability than we are from just slightly boosting accuracy, right? At some point. Didn't even see what the stat gains were. 591 to 598, 7. Because they were prime, we should be getting higher stat growth, um, which has actually changed for Monster Rancher DX from the PlayStation version of this. Apparently, stat growth was flat in the original Monster Rancher. But for whatever reason, that's one of the updates they decided to make for DX. Never knew it was flat. Never played this on PlayStation. This is the first... Steam version's the first time I played it, so. All right, there's 600. Push button, watch number go up, satisfying. Every every little increase is just a trickle of dopamine. Yeah, so seven was a good number. We're getting like five there. I think we got five the round before. Nope, I'm good, fuck off. I, I assume no matter what, Monster Rancher 2 will take more time. Uh, I gotta remember what fucking week I'm resting on. Just, there's there's constant hesitations of like, wait, am I rested? There's the tired. Week 3. I should just write down a big 3 on the sheet of paper in front of me. And then circle it. And then I'll know that's the week I rest. Twenty-two. Well, we're clearly approaching the end of this series. Like, we will beat these. Unless something happens and we get killed. Like, unless we have some really bad tournament outcome. We have it. Like, the game... We're, we're on the final track to beat the game. With the amount of lifespan we have left, this should be pretty safe. There's no rush. So, we can talk about Monster Rancher 2. I think uh, we follow the same rule set for Monster Rancher 2. I don't see any need for changes. 
I think the Monster Rancher 2 unlocks are easier, too, in that you don't have to, like, combine specific monsters, but I might be misremembering that. So it'll be a little less awkward to try and unlock um, special monsters when we do get them. Uh, we're not going to do Monster Rancher 2 immediately after 1. Probably. I am pre-recording these episodes for Monster Rancher 1. Like, at the point uh, that I'm recording this one, uh, the first episode isn't even out on YouTube. Which is, like, way more pre-recorded than I intended to be, but I kind of got into playing. Um, the original thought was like, oh yeah, I'll record a couple of these a week. We'll get a, you know, six in the bag, five in the bag, whatever, and then we'll go in and start uploading. And then we'll be caught up in no time. And it'll become a scheduled thing. And, like, that has just not happened. I also pushed it back for a better start date. I was going to start in the middle of a week, and it's like, nah, start at the start of a week, follow a set upload schedule, it's better that way. Um, so yeah. Yeah, he's not huffing, I didn't miss sleeping. If, basically, if these videos do well, I'll probably do Monster Rancher 2 sooner rather than later. And if they don't do that well, I'll probably do something else as a backup upload on the channel before we do Monster Rancher 2. Basically alternate other runs in other games with Monster Rancher for a little bit. I would love to play through at least Monster Rancher 1 through 4 this way. I've never played Evo, um, so I'd be down for trying that. I know Evo mixes up the formula a bit, so there might be some issues with the rule set. Evo is probably one where I'd have to do like a test run to see, just to familiarize myself with the game and see if like the rule set's even gonna work. Um, Cause I don't think Evo has like tournaments or something. So there might be some issues there. The other thing we could do is like Monster Rancher Advance and DS, which I have played those games. So those are totally viable options too. Um, And that gives us enough Monster Rancher games. I mean, there's also Kaiju, right? That's enough Monster Rancher to play Monster Rancher till fucking 2026 or some shit, I think. Like, there's enough games for that. So it's all really, the, like, the pace at which we do it is entirely dependent upon the success of the series, right? If they do really bad, I probably... It's very possible if these videos do really badly, I never even do more, right? I'm pretty committed to doing two, but the series may not go past two. 665. Like, if I had infinite time... To record and play games and shit i would absolutely play through one through four but i don't have infinite time and so there has to be some concessions made like the, like the tiebreaker between what game i want to play next right is essentially will this do okay on the channel do i think this will do okay on the channel or is this something new i want to see if it'll do okay on the channel right that's kind of the way that works so once something's actually failed previously, it, it becomes, you know, it, it slips in the rankings, right? And that's not a hard and fast rule either, because sometimes I just want to play something. And if I just want to play something, often, unless I'm doing something that I don't think will translate well to YouTube, I'll make a series out of it, right? The, the channel is not doesn't do amazingly anyway, so I might as well just do what I fucking want and have fun. Plus, I think if you, like, the one of the worst things that can happen to a gaming channel on YouTube is when the person playing the game starts to feel obligated to play the game for views. I think the content just goes to fucking shit. And I think you can even see that on some of my series I've done. Like, I think, um... Like, some of the initial successful videos on this channel were RimWorld. And I think you could see a dip in some quality eventually on RimWorld series when it's kind of, like, like, start to force it a bit. It's never gotten to the point where I haven't wanted to play, but it's kind of, like, it, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, I need to do a new series. I can't spend, you know, 
a month in, in in the war room thinking out the plan for the new series. Like, we got to get this out now. What do we put together for a mod pack? And you get some ideas that are not fully cooked, I think. I also think some of my RimWorld series, Doomstone in particular, I put a lot of thought into and nobody gave a shit. And that was very disappointing. And that's the other side of the coin, right? Is when you do something that you think is neat and nobody else cares on YouTube. It's just like, all right, well, fuck it. And that takes the steam out of your sails a lot, too. Uh, $6.99. All right. We could technically... No, let's just do this. That's fine. We could technically do the, um, the, the heavy job, but we'll just do this. All right. I think we pivot over to doing some defense. Karn, you bastard. I don't want to talk to you. Thank you for the peach and the parasite, but, like, fuck off? Okay, it's January, May is the tournament, so I think... I I think I want to try it. Because, here's the other thing, right? We fail the tournament, it has to come back around again. So, if we fail a couple times, we're going to need 14 years lifespan to get these tournaments done. We can freeze at some point and thaw, which we might have to do if we fail. So, I think there's an argument, to, like a legitimate argument, not just an impatience argument, to be doing... Um, the tournament in may here so let's do let's do some defense i think let's get survivability up a bit now i think we can definitely get another level on defense at least Yeah, I think actually the first episode of this releases tomorrow, if I remember correctly, on Christmas? I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. I could also check the uh, the schedule, like the, the not in-game, the, the out-of-game calendar to check what day the tournament's on and like get the schedule synchronized, but I don't think we need to worry about that. March. Okay, that's going to be, yep, third week of May. So that's the week we're resting, so we just need to do one one big so we can do a big here right yeah uh let's do let's do a mine get a little bit more life all right we're on schedule <clears throat> No point in getting a round number on life. That's just a number. I think defense doesn't matter about levels either, to be honest, but... Well, we are about at the end of this episode. Um, if everything goes well, we'll easily finish the last two fights next episode. So I think we'll plan for that. Let's get to the Masters Cup.
The other thing is, if these if this series does do well, make sure we didn't fuck this up. Yeah, if this series does do well, I would be, I'd probably start streaming it too. Like, it's nice to have a game to record without streaming, just so that I don't have to follow a schedule and I can just, you know, do it whenever I feel like it or whenever I've got a spare hour. Um, so I like to do that with secondary series. But if something is popular, I usually like to try to stream it. And I think this could be a, a good series to stream too, because it gives me something to do when I'm just spamming training for 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, we'll see uh, if we if that happens and do uh, Monster Rancher 2 maybe as a, a Twitch thing. All right, well, that'll be it for this episode. Till next time.